Let's practice doing formal charges. Several times during this video, I'm going to ask you to pause the playback and see if you can come up with the formal charges yourself. So pause, and then uh, and then if you hit replay or hit uh, play after that, you'll be able to see what I got when I did it. So let's start with the first one. Let's imagine we're going to do the structure for the NH4 plus one ion, the ammonium ion. Okay, so if you want, you could pause here and just practice drawing the Lewis structure. Uh, and when you resume, you'll see my structure. Okay, so we have the Lewis structure of ammonium and we want to label it with formal charges. So pause here and practice putting the formal charge and see where that plus one goes on this, on this ion. Okay, so we circle each atom remembering to cut every bond in half. And so we'll start with the nitrogen atom. Nitrogen has a valence of five. So we can see each half bond has one electron in it, so we're subtracting four. So that's equal to plus one. And we could do the hydrogens if we want. Just to check, we know that every hydrogen should come out to be zero because we want the net charge on the entire ion to be plus one. So we'll just pick one of these hydrogens because we know they're all the same just to see what we get. A valence of one there's one half bond, so that's one electron, so that comes up to zero. So indeed, if we add up all the hydrogens with their zero formal charge and the nitrogen with plus one, we end up with a, uh, a formal charge in the ion, a total charge in the ion, which equals plus one, which is what we started on. Great, let's do another example. All right, let's practice doing the nitrate ion. So incidentally, when you're working on your problems, you should always say the names of each compound aloud. So don't say NO3 minus, say, say nitrate, because that way you'll be practicing your nomenclature while you're doing this. Okay, great, so we write that. Pause for a second so that you can practice writing your Lewis structure. Make sure your Lewis structure matches the one that I'm getting. Okay, so we'll build the bonds to nitrogen, and we can see we can add on our lone pairs. And we do this, we see there's not enough, uh, there's two from the nitrogen, so we're gonna take one of the lone pairs and move it into the bonding space to make a double bond. So that'll give us our eight total electrons on nitrogen. So let's draw that over here. Okay, we're looking at this structure, we, we know, wait a minute, nitrogen normally forms three bonds and oxygen normally forms two. So there's several things in here that don't look like the normal bonding pattern. And that's a clue that we're gonna get some formal charges that are not zero. So let's do the formal charge analysis now. So at this point, you should pause the recording and try to do it on your own and then resume and compare your answer to the one that I'm about to get. All right, so we circle all the atoms, being sure to cut the bonds exactly in half since we're doing formal charge. And then we count up the number of electrons in each circle, subtract from the valence electrons. So looking at this oxygen, we have a valence of six on oxygen. We subtract uh, one for each lone pair electrons, so that's one, two, three, four, and then another two electrons from those broken bonds. So that's six minus six is equal to zero. So that formal charge did come out to zero, which shouldn't surprise us because oxygen has two bonds just like it normally does in normal neutral molecules. Let's look at the other three atoms though. This nitrogen has, as always, a valence of five, 
and we can see that there's uh, four half bonds. So each half bond is one electron. So we say five minus four is equal to plus one. And that's just what we saw when we did ammonium in the previous example. So just in general, when you have uh, four bonds instead of three bonds in a lone pair, nitrogen is going to have a formal charge of plus one. Let's look at these oxygens. So we can see they're going to be the same because each one has a single bond and then three lone pairs. So valence of six, we've got the six electrons from the lone pairs. We've got one electron from the half bond. And so it's six minus seven or minus one. And we can see this one's going to be minus one as well. So no surprise here that it's going to be formally charged because the oxygen looks funny, right? It's got one bond instead of two. So we should have suspected that there would be a formal charge there. So let's add up all the formal charges. So if we add up the formal charges, so we're going to use, this, remember this sigma just means sum. So we sum up the formal charges. And that is going to be equal to 0 plus 1 minus 1 minus 1. And that all comes out to be minus 1. And indeed, once we see this minus 1, we're pleased because that is the charge on the ion. 